Hello, thank you for stopping by. I'm gonna read the story called Cindy Moo. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Over at the diddle farm, a little past eight, the cows all heard a nursery rhyme that caused a great debate. Diddle cows stood in the barn and listened to each word about the cow that jumped the moon, amazed at what they heard. Across the moon, cried Buttercup. No way, said Honey Bun. The moon's too high and much too far. It simply can't be done. And as the cow scoffed off the thought, a voice rose loud and true. Why can't a cow jump to the moon? That voice was Cindy Moose. The cows began to argue. Each took a different side. But in the end, they all confessed that none of them had tried. So Cindy Moo raised up a hoof and said that it was true. If that cow could jump the moon, by golly, I can too. As Cindy Moo waltzed to the field, the others gathered round. She jumped that moon with room to spare and one grand bovine bound. She pawed her hoofs. She shook her head. She ran and picked up speed. And with a mighty moo, she jumped. Across a prickly weed. Told you so, said Honey Bun. Too bad, said Buttercup. Cows weren't meant to jump the moon. Why don't you just give up? But Cindy Moo ignored her friends. She made a solemn vow. She'd jump across the silver moon as soon as she knew how. The next night after grazing, she caught a stunning sight. The moon was perched upon the hill, a ball of silver light. Cindy Moo let out a snort and charged up to the top. But when she reached the grassy peak, she skidded to a stop. Instead of staying on the hill, much to her surprise, the moon flew off the grassy ridge back up to the star-filled skies. Cindy Moo plopped on the ground. Would it be for not? Jumping to the moon, she said, is harder than I thought. Back inside the barn that night, the worst of all came true. Rain clouds swept the moon away. Now, what was she to do? She couldn't just jump that wasn't there. Perhaps the herd was right. The moon and cows would never mix, not then or any night. But late that night when raindrops stopped, she peeked outside and found the moon had slipped down to the earth up on the rain-soaked ground. Cindy Moo kicked up her heels and raced with all her might. And with a happy moo, she jumped across the moon that night. Her friends came out and marveled much. Miss Moo, you've done it now. A cow can really jump the moon as long as she knows how. And ever since that rainy night, the cows do not debate. Whenever rain clouds pass their way and it is growing late, they gaze upon that puddled moon and jump it two by two. And guess who leads the diddle herd? Of course, it's Cindy Moo. The end. Thank you.